Hello! In this video, you will learn about an emergent disease that affects a portion of Lyme disease patients. An article in Dermatology Reports from 2018 shows that in a cohort of 1,000 patients who were seropositive for Lyme disease, in other words, they tested positive, 6% of them also had Morgellons disease. All these links will be shown in the description of this video. Other studies have shown that a similar skin condition with similar filaments occurs in cattle and dogs, providing further evidence that Morgellons disease is a dermatological condition associated with an infection from a spiral-shaped bacteria. Morgellons has bizarre symptoms. Many doctors have been convinced in the past that it's a mental disease. However, by referencing some peer-reviewed study on this disease and adding my own pictures and movies, I hope to support the growing evidence that Morgellons is a physical condition and not mental. This disease is ugly and resembles everyone's worst nightmare. The physical component shows up as embedded filaments in the skin or projecting from the skin, like this. I tell my story in the hope that my disease will be investigated further. Human rights means that all people should be treated equally. One group of Lyme disease patients are not being treated equally at this time. Those with more Jones disease are not generally tested for Lyme disease. Doctors are not looking for physical evidence of filaments embedded in the skin. Instead, sufferers are advised to take strong antipsychotics. Lyme's disease is a serious illness and each month bacteria grow in the body. The later treatment starts, the more chance of serious long-term effects. It's an injustice to sufferers to have proper treatment denied when science has moved ahead with this from this problematic study of 2012 from the Center for Disease Control. Because this disease was misdiagnosed by the CDC in the past, research for the disease is denied, although there is no known treatment. Some people have given up and committed suicide. It's not an easy disease to live with. A small group have had to self-fund research to learn the composition of the objects in the skin and the association of this disease with Lyme disease. Around 15 years ago, a group of patients appeared who had unusual complaints, sores that would not heal, sometimes for over a year, various colored filaments growing out of the skin or embedded in the skin, and a feeling of movement in the skin. This was Morgellons disease. The U.S. government ordered the, a, the study by the CDC because of the concern that Morgellons might be a contagious disease. The CDC conducted their one and only study on Morgellons disease. It can be found here. These links are found in the description. There were many problems with this study. You can see some of them at this site. and listen to a doctor speak about the deficiency at this site. First, the CDC study did not mention the key diagnostic symptom. A key diagnostic symptom is the symptom of a disease that makes it different from all others. There are no other diseases at this time that have the symptom of filaments or colorful filaments embedded in the skin or projecting from the skin. Hair is normally in the skin, but hair is made of keratin alone. Morgellons filaments have been identified as composed of keratin and collagen. Here's a picture of me a long time ago. I'm now a senior, but this picture of a younger me shows that I have red hair. My body simply cannot produce black hairs. It would be like Prince Harry having a black beard. 
I have pulled thousands of black filaments from my skin. I have been um, exfoliating my skin and this is a spot that I've that's come off from my leg. And I'm going to go and look at it. Let me see if I can get it focused. Okay. So there's this, the clump of skin cells. And there's the fibers that are embedded in it. That's as clear as I can get. My hair is red and these fibers are black. These are not hairs. In one video I have shown myself pulling filaments from my knee over a period of 20 minutes. If these filaments had been something from my clothing, they would not have come out for 20 minutes from the same spot, especially when I continually wet in the spot with gloves and water. Also, if you look closely at the video, you will see places where the regular, there are regular white skin cells besides ones that are infected or in, have embedded fibers. I can make the exfoliation work. Okay, so that's just, oh, there's one, one up here, very small. And they're all very small at this point, and, and even on the rest of my body, probably 95% or 98% are very small. They're like that. There's the clump of skin cells, and there's an embedded fiber. Okay, we'll pull back. Look at the glove, see how small it is. You can barely see it. I can just see it as something a little darker than the rest. Unfortunately, the CDC did not insist that the subjects in their study demonstrate that the filaments in their skin were actually embedded in the skin. Here, is, here are the words from the study. They examined filaments or material on the participant's skin. There is another condition where people complain of something imaginary in their skin. That is a rare psychiatric problem called a delusion. Due to the fact that the CDC simply looked at fibers on the skin and the fact that no medical person ensured that the fibers were embedded, the CDC came to the conclusion that Morjohn's disease is just another form of a delusion. If the CDC had chosen participants in their study who had filaments embedded in their skin, and if they had then inspected these filaments, they would have identified these filaments as being made up of keratin and collagen. In other words, this is what microbiologists discovered with more careful selection of subjects in 2013. This study is listed in the description of this video. The CDC study was published in the year before. One of the secondary symptoms of Morjellan's disease is the presence of sores on the skin of sufferers that show filaments embedded. These sores can take over a year to heal and leave scars on the skin. The CDC said these sores were caused by people picking at the skin. In other words, the sufferer of the disease was at fault. They said these sores did not come from the disease. In 2015, a new peer-reviewed research study using many labs, microbiologists, doctors, and other health providers showed that the skin of sufferers had Borrelia spirochetes embedded in sores in many places in the skin. Borrelia spirochetes Spirochetes are bacteria that are of a spiral shape of the species Borrelia. Borrelia bacteria are in Lyme disease as well as in other tick-borne illnesses. As I mentioned, Morgellon sufferers often have sores on their skin. In the new peer-reviewed research, some of these sores on the skin were examined. The very large ones were biopsied and the bacteria inside were cultured. Cultured means the bacteria grew and 
produced offspring in a special fluid in a test tube. And this proved the bacteria was alive and viable. When it was examined, it turned out to be the kind of bacteria that is found in Lyme disease, this spiral-shaped one from the species Borrelia. Everyone knows about Borrelia burgdorferi, the bacteria in Lyme disease. But there's other species of Borrelia that have also been, been identifi identified in the skin of Morgellon sufferers. If you Google tick-borne relapsing fever, there are many species of Borrelia bacteria. Some of these have been associated with Morgellons disease. So the CDC thought that the sores in the skin were from the sufferers picking at their sores. I personally do not have sores, but I do have red spots that appear on my skin after I rub an area. I have taken over a hundred small filaments from an area that is no larger than the mark of a mosquito, of a mosquito bite, many times. Here's a picture of some of these red dots. Some of the most heart-wrenching pictures of Morgellons disease sufferers can be seen at this link from a talk given by G Dr. Ginger Savely. This link is in the description of the video. In the 2015 peer-reviewed study, samples were taken from the skin, blood, genital, secre genital secretions, and colon a colonoscopy biopsy of Morgellon sufferers. These samples were tested using microscop microscopic examination and DNA methods. The DNA sequence of a Borrelia, a Borrelia is known, just like a lot of other bacteria. They know the DNA now. And can be used to identify the presence of Borrelia, or the bacteria, in the body. Results from five independent labs identified DNA of Borrelia bacteria in that 2015 study. Live Borrelia bacteria were also identified. An overwhelming 24 of 25 subjects involved had either DNA or microscopic evidence of Borrelia present in the body. The control group showed no bacteria of that type. This completed the identification of tick-borne illness as a major factor in developing Morgellons disease. Good research allows others to duplicate your results. Recently, independent researchers from Canada using PCR technology and confirmatory DNA sequencing have detected Borrelia D DNA in cultures. A culture is a container with a special fluid inside to allow the bacteria to grow and produce more offspring. This is done to increase the sample side, size when DNA for bacteria is examined. It also shows that live specimens are in the skin. Specimens from Morgellons disease patients such as scabs from the skin were put in the culture fluid. After a pe period of time, the DNA of the bacteria was examined and showed that the Borrelia bacteria was present. Five laboratories using PCR, which is a DNA technology, have now confirmed the presence of tick-borne bacteria in the skin of Morgellons sufferers. None of this was done in the original CDC study. In the CDC study, the results say no common underlying medical condition or infectious source was identified, but the condition resembled another condition called delusion of parasitosis. Here's a screenshot of the CDC result. Medical associations have taken this to mean that Morgellons should be considered a delusion. I do not blame individual doctors. I have a wonderful busy doctor. It's true, however, when he read, he read the actual research and saw my video, he agreed that this was an emergent disease that is unknown to most doctors. Doctors simply do not have the time to investigate research that's on, on diseases. They depend on their medical associations to inform them, and they, de and they in turn depend on the CDC. This, result, this results in a study with contaminated methods the lack of precision in the choice of subjects to study, 
the lack of identification of the embedded fibers, the lack of investigation of the bacteria embedded in the sores, all this resulted in wrong conclusions, which had been followed by doctors. Strong antipsychotics are prescribed for a physical disease. To summarize this video, Morgellons is an ugly and life-changing physical disease associated with Lyme disease. It is still misdiagnosed because the CDC had a problematic study. Delusions do not have physical symptoms. We all suffer when research is denied. Some have committed suicide because of this. In my next few videos, I will sh hope to show my own story of how this disease has changed my life. I also hope to show the connection between Morgellons disease and DNA changes. I hope you will continue to watch. Thank you for all of those who thank you to all of those who have subscribed. Your YouTube YouTube has a YouTube for nonprofits program and I need a thousand subscribers before I can apply for a link directly to a Morgellons Research nonprofit which would allow anyone who wishes to make a small donation just to press a button. So that would help me if you would subscribe. Thank you for listening. Let's win this race for more scientific research for all those who suffer from an unexplained disease.